Hello folks, today I will be showing you the new version of Macrium Reflect Home Edition version 6.0 backup software. This software is easy to use and will create an image of your hard drive in case of failure, corruption, viruses, or if you install software that made unwanted change to your computer. If any of these events occur, you will have a perfect copy of your hard drive before these events occur. You can easily restore your system to where you last made a backup. It will back up a 500 gigabyte drive in slightly over an hour and restore in some instances in under five minutes. I suggest you use a one terabyte portable hard drive for saving at least two images in case your hard drive contains less than 500 gigabytes. First, and very important, we will create rescue media, usually a DVD. That will get you into Mac Room in case your system will not boot, yet your hard drive, your hard disk drive is still operational. The Windows PE Rescue Environment is a self-contained version of Windows containing the Mac Room Reflect environment. It will enable you to restore your system from a backup, Fix booting issues. Enable a system boot on new hardware using redeploy. Before we create our rescue media, you will need to download the correct version of Windows PE, usually version 5.0 for Windows 8.1. When you first run Macrium Reflect, you will be given a selection of installing the version of Windows PE for your system. OK. OK, now let's get to work. Make sure you plug in your portable hard drive before you start Macrium. Then you select, make sure the backup tab is selected, and you come down to backup tasks. Image selected disk in this computer. Select that. This menu pop up. Select your source drives and your image destination. Up here is check the source drive. Is our, port is our hard drive in the system with how much space is used and how much space is available. Down here is our destination drive. You can leave this unchecked. It's, it tells you how much space is used in a total space free. Down here is the destination, our D drive. Here, uncheck use image ID as a file name. And I usually type in the date. So go May 26, 2015. And then select next. Here it says edit a plan for this backup. It just gives you various options about backups, dif differential and incremental. This you can skip. And you go next. Then the image summary. This gives you more information about what is going on. How much is selected and how much will be saved. What is, it, what is the destination and what is the source. And then you select finish. Then it says what do you want to do now. Check run this backup now and select save backup and schedule as an XML definition file. And here I would delete my backup and I put the date in again. MAY 26, 2015. And then I would select OK. Now it says Macrium Reflect Backup Starting. Up here it gives you information about the backup and then you see that your backup is starting. It says creating snapshot, please wait. After this, then the snapshot is analyzing file system on volume C. Then you get overall progress and current progress. Now it says overall progress, transfer rate approximately 700 megabytes per second. Time remaining, 
about one hour and approximately eight minutes. So here we are at 50%. The time, we have 30 minutes left. And the transfer rate is seven, approximately 760 megabytes per second. Up here we have all the information relevant to this particular backup. The backup definition file, destination, the operations, starting image, saving partition, and the saving partition name. We have selected high priority with no shutdown upon completion. Now we're at 99% and almost finished our backup. Four seconds, two seconds. And our backup and our image completed successfully in one hour and three minutes and 23 seconds. So we can close that, close that, and exit. Okay.